630 newly announced to L.A. mayoral candidate Rick Caruso, one-on-one -on -one with KTLA, explaining how he says he can improve the lives of Angelinos. The billionaire developer and philanthropist outlines how he will address crime, homelessness, and become a leader he says the city has been lacking for years. KTLA's Christina Pascucci joins us live from downtown L.A. with more. Christina. Hi, Micah. Good evening to you. Carissa told me the first thing he will do if elected to mayor of Los Angeles is declare a state of emergency in the city. Uh, he is a newly registered Democrat. He spent many years as an independent, before that a Republican. Now he calls himself a centrist, a socially liberal, fiscally conservative, and above all, he says, someone who is disturbed by the dire state of our city. Meet Rick Caruso, lifelong Angelino, husband, father, grandson of immigrants. Rick Caruso, philanthropist and billionaire developer of landmarks like The Grove, says he's running for mayor of Los Angeles because current leadership has failed. Everyone that I'm running against, they're legislators, but they've been on the job for over a decade. And while they've been on the job, everything has gotten worse. Caruso says public safety is a focus of his campaign, and he plans to hire 1,500 more LAPD officers if elected as mayor. I want to be tough on crime. I think that's important to have a safe society and where people feel secure and happy. Um, and I want to give people an opportunity to live the American dream. And that's one of the pillars of your campaign is ending street homelessness. So what will you do that is different from what... You know, others have tried. Day one in office, declare a state of emergency, take all the authority to fix the problem into the mayor's office. I'm going to be accountable. I'll build a team of the best and the brightest to do it. We're going to treat it like a crisis and we're going to go build 30,000 uh, beds very quickly. Caruso's opponents had criticized him for supporting DA George Gascon, whose weak on crime policies have been blamed for a spike in Los Angeles crime. You were a supporter of his contributed thousands of dollars to his campaign. Where do you stand now in your support? George changed. So when George first asked me for his support, he was a 20-year-old friend. I knew him, and I knew the George that was at LAPD on how he looked at fighting crime. His views changed, and once I saw as his campaign unfolded, his views changing, I donated heavily to Jackie Lacey. And if there was a recall today, would you support it? If he doesn't change, yes. What do you want people to know about you on a personal level? I really do love this city. I feel so blessed in my life. I want to give back, and I want to do it in a meaningful way, and I want to make people's lives better. This is just a snippet of what we discussed during a 20 to 30 minute conversation. I also asked the 63 year old father of four about vaccine mandates for city workers. That's been a really hot topic. He said he does support them. He uh, has mandates for his current employees. He believes in the vaccine and he believes in science. I also asked him about any possible conflict of interest. He is a developer, so could that conflict with his role as mayor? And he told me no, he is going to be transparent and halt any development uh, while he is in office should he be elected. Let's show you a list of some of the other mayoral candidates who are kind of front runners at this point. You have Councilman Joe Buscaino, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Councilman Kevin DeLeon, and City Attorney Mike Fuhr. We also look forward to uh, digging into their issues and discussing their roles, their campaigns for mayor in the coming months. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting live from downtown Los Angeles for KTLA 5 News. Christina, thank you. The super